recently, yesterday, I posted a video where I said there's a lot of miners that are buying up uh, new mining equipment uh, for Bitcoin. And I wanted to run some numbers on what Hive has done in the past year and where they are with their miners. Uh, the reported, when was it, uh, just July 30th, that they're running at 925 petahash, uh, tripling that by the end of the year. Um, so they should be at around 2728 peta, um, not 2728, 2, uh, 2800 to 2700 petahash um, by the end of the year. So I looked at all of their SEC filings for press releases when, um, when they're buying miners. So if we look at the data here, there's a lot. So I'll try to explain it the best, best I can. So here's the data. Um, so I started with January 4th. Um, in the press release, they stated that they have uh, 319 petahash of current miners, roughly. They didn't exactly provide the number, but they're saying that they're doubling that to uh, around uh, was it 300 or 600, uh, 653 petahash with the purchase on announced on January 4th. So I figured that they had about 319 petahash currently in Bitcoin miners. <coughs> Excuse me. Cheers, guys. Throw it was Jack. Um, that, uh, that calculates to about, I'm guessing that they were using the miners that were last generation, maybe the, uh, int miner, what were those, the S, uh, S17s, I think, from Bitmain, um, and I calculated that at that, uh, petahash rate, it's, would come out to be about, uh, 18,000 miners, um, each one doing about 0 0.0177 petahash, or um, 17,722 gigahash per miner, which I kind of calculated that from uh, uh, whattomine.com website, trying to figure this out. <coughs> Excuse me. So then they announced on January 4th that they are buying 4,180 new miners. Uh, they actually provided what's miners MS 31S plus at 334 petahash equivalent, roughly. So that gave me a gigahash mining rate of 79, almost 80,000. So with those numbers, we can kind of figure out what their uh, possible income is with these. Uh, and then on January 19th, they announced another 6,400 at 576 petahash or 9,000 or 90,000 gigahash. And then on uh, February 23rd, they announced 6,000 more miners, but they didn't provide which miners they were buying, but they provided the petahash of uh, 444 petahash equivalent. Uh, so that was 74,000 gigahash per miner. Uh, February 24th, they announced again 3,000 um, at uh, 90 petahash. These were significantly slower than the previous purchases. And you can see it here that each miner was running at about 30,000 gigahash. Um, so those, I mean, we can kind of figure out what those are. Um, and I'll show you guys maybe the website. Um, and then on March 1st, they announced 9,000 and 1,500. So they bought two different ones from two different companies, which were unknown, didn't provide it. But they did show that they bought 666 petahash of the 9,000 uh, miners, uh, which equi is equivalent to 74,000 gigahash. The unknown number three miners, 15,000 of them were at 45 petahash. Uh, so 30,000 gigahash, similar to the ones that they bought back in uh, February 24th. Um, and then July 12th, they announced what's miners, uh, the M30s, 3,019 of those uh, at 264 petahash. And that's equivalent to 87,446 uh, gigahash. And then July 30th, which is the most recent one that I found, they announced another 4,000 at 272 petahash, which is coming up to be... 68,000 <coughs> petahash, or gigahash, sorry. So with all those numbers, we can kind of figure out how many they have and what's the uh, total uh, petahash they have. So with all these numbers, by the end of the year, if they get everything in, sorry guys, if they get everything in, they'll have roughly 55,099 miners. By my, estimation, by my estimation, and they'll be at about, uh, 3,329 petahash in overall computing power. Uh, so here's the total for that. So 
50 to 5,000, and then uh, total hash, uh, peta hash rate. Um, so on July 30th, like I stated, they announced um, that they're running at 925 peta hash uh, currently, and they plan on tripling that by the end of the year. So then, um, and then July 30th, they also announced uh, 200 million per year currently re uh, revenue run rate and 25 million in expenses per year. Uh, they also provided basically what their uh, giga hash was on the Ethereum miners. Um, so that came out to be 3,383 giga hash. I calculated that down to um, mega, mega hash, which is easier to do on uh, uh, what to mine website. And I'm guessing that they're running it probably at 200 giga hash, maybe more than that. So this, my calculation might be off, but we'll get the same amount close to it. Uh, so they're, I'm estimating that they have uh, around 16,715 uh, miners running uh, Ethereum right now. Uh, so we'll be able to use that number in just a little bit here. So then I took all the data that they provided and when they're gonna, when they're expecting to get their miners in. So here's how it looks. Um, this is all for this year. So January they started with 319, um, and then February, March, April, all the way through December, how many miners they were supposed to get in and when. Uh, so if we look at it here, what's miners they were supposed to get uh, 180, then 500 for the next couple months till the end of the year. The Avalon miners, 500, uh, 500 and then 900 throughout uh, the rest of the year. Uh, the unknown ones were 3,000 and 3,000, uh, and then we had another unknown, 525 unknown. So those are all the calculations for when they're supposed to get them all in. Here's all the total miners, uh, if they were added in at the right, at the at the time when they said. Obviously there's been some constraints on the shipping channels and everything else, so this might be a little bit off. But we're pretty close to uh, where they're saying that they are at currently. Let me see it. So they're saying we are in, let me see here. This, where are we, where's July? We're beginning of August right now. They said July 30th that they are at 900 something uh, Petahash, which is pretty close to, 11, uh, to the 1,141 that I have for them. So they're only off by 200 petahash. So they might not have gotten all the miners in. But their statement of 900, uh, some on my uh, petahash that they're at right now, triples by the end of the year would be correct. Because I'm showing here by the end of December, they should be at uh, around 2,832 total petahash for Bitcoin. Uh, with 34,000 uh, total miners, new ones being installed. So let's look at some price prediction, predictions here, possibly. Uh, what have we got here? I'm trying to figure out what this is. Oh, this here. So daily, um, daily, 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 daily. I want to make sure I get this right. Total revenue daily. Okay, so this is. Zach, uh, I'm trying to think here. I did this last night, so for uh, forgive me. I'm trying to remind myself what I did here. Is that thirty-eight thousand per day that they're making? Let me see here. Thirty-eight thousand four hundred times three hundred sixty-five days. Fourteen thousand. That doesn't seem right. Oh. Current price of Bitcoin, 38400 that's what it was. Uh, so total revenue would be, they're roughly making $27.71 for all the miners mining per day. So we take that, multiply it by the number of miners, we get 944356 at the current price level that we're in. Annual run rate would be $344 million. Um, and then this is after electricity, I'm guessing that there may be paying four cents, they could be way lower than that. Uh, that's, I could probably figure that out. I'm wondering if the information is available someplace to figure that out. Uh, but it would be 25.31 per miner, and that would equate to 314 million run rate per year. That's a, the current price levels, right? And then here we have Ethereum. Ethereum based on what I found, they're running at around 14.98 per miner profit a day. 
So that equates to 91392000 After electricity costs are reduced, you're looking at $86 million. So total revenue for the two miners would be $436 million pre-electricity, and then after electricity would be uh, $40 million. So we know where we could possibly be at, at current levels, right? Obviously, Bitcoin can go up and Bitcoin can go down. Same with Ethereum. But right now, this is where we're at. Shares outstanding. They have uh, right now calculated 30, 383 million shares outstanding, which gives us an uh, earnings per share of $1.14. If we do a 20 times EPS, uh, which is kind of conservative on this, it would give us a stock price of 2277 if they had all the miners running right now at the current price levels. Now, if crypto goes 2x, we're looking at a pri uh, stock price of 4554 uh, roughly. Obviously, they're we have to take into consideration also the difficulty of mining, right? So di as more miners come online, difficulty is going to increase, profit is going to go down. So even if difficulty increases 50%, we're still looking at a you know a $22 stock. Uh, if crypto goes up three uh, three times, so Bitcoin's at 36,000 or 38,000 right now. If it goes up to 100,000, we're looking at a price per share of 68. This is pre a difficulty adjustment. Adjust 50% for a difficulty adjustment. You're looking at Thirty-four dollars uh, per share. Crypto goes up four x, so now we're looking at around uh, one hundred sixty thousand, one hundred fifty thousand dollars for Bitcoin. You're looking at ninety-one dollars per share pre-adjustment for uh, difficulty. Difficulty goes up fifty percent. Take away forty, uh, you know, half of that, so that's forty-five dollars uh, base per share. So that's kind of where I'm thinking um, Hive can go to. And I know there's a lot of information here, so. I hope you guys understand all this. And if you have any questions, you know, pro uh, provide them down in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Or if you have better data that uh, if I'm missing something or if you have something that I don't have, I'd love for you guys to share that with me. And then I can improve this uh, chart here. My chart bar Excel file. I know it's been long. I've been rambling on here. Uh, trying to give you guys as much information as I can on this. So I do think uh, there is a lot of upside to Hive. Uh, please do your own research on this. This is just my own research that I've done. I'm just a schmuck here on YouTube, uh, trying to help you guys out a little bit. Uh, obviously helping myself out as well by doing all this stuff research. So uh, that's all I have for you guys. Um, if you've liked this video, please share it, subscribe, uh, hit the like button, helps me out uh, so that I can provide you guys with more of this stuff. Let me know in the comments also if you'd like to see other uh, minor companies kind of invested like this, uh, like, uh, what's that? We got Mara, uh, HUD8, and there's some other ones out there as well that are buying up like crazy miners right now. So with that, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.